Sarah, welcome to The Daily English Show. Today I thought I'd show you some photos I took a few years ago of some signs in a supermarket in Japan. Let's see if we can learn something from the mistakes on the signs. Firstly, paper cup should be spelled like this. As far as I know, dust bag isn't English. I would call it a rubbish bag. And I found these other names on Wikipedia. Garbage bag, trash bag, refuse sack, can liner, bin bag, swag sack, bin liner. But I don't think anyone calls it a dust bag. Correct me if I'm wrong. On this sign, sugar is spelt wrong. This should be an A. On this sign, canned should have another N. And this should probably say Chinese food ingredients. The word material is used for things like building materials. On this sign, the words substance and equipment sound strange to me. I would probably say sanitary products and kitchen utensils. And finally, I think this should be toothpaste. Today I'd like to tell you about a site called Watch Me TV, if you don't know about it already. Well, you could be watching this on Watch Me TV right now, in which case this message will seem a bit strange. Watch Me TV is a Japanese video site made by a TV station called Fuji TV. It's a combination of content that they produce themselves and user content that anyone can upload. Of course, most of it's not very interesting if you can't understand Japanese, but I thought I'd tell you about it because on one of their shows the other day they introduced the Daily English Show, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to put a link next to this video, and please go and check it out if you'd like to hear a Japanese presenter talking about the Daily English Show. Kia ora, in Stick News today, two men have been rescued from the sea near Australia after spending almost a month floating in a giant chili bin. On the 23rd of December last year, a boat sank. Two of the crew were lucky enough to score the box that held the ice on the boat. After spending 25 days floating in the chili bin, a rescue helicopter from Australia picked them up and flew them to hospital. The Associated Press reported the men each drank about four pints of water within seconds of being hoisted aboard the helicopter. A hospital spokesperson said the men were in good condition and would be discharged into the care of immigration authorities. And that was Stick News for Wednesday the 21st of January. Kia ora. Today I'm going to show you how to get from my house to the post office in case you ever visit me and then feel the sudden urge to post a letter. First walk down the stairs and go out the door and walk down a few steps then walk to the road. This is what you'll see when you walk out the gate. Turn right and walk straight ahead. At the end of this street you'll get to a bigger street turn right again. Now just keep walking straight down the street and you'll eventually see the post office on your left. You'll pass the library on your left, the fire station on your right. You have to cross the street at one point. You'll go past a convenience store on the left, the Yakuba on the right, and you'll be able to check the temperature when you go past JA on the left. Finally, after walking for about 10 minutes, you'll see the post office on the left. It's opposite a convenience store. Today's word is chili bin. A chili bin is an insulated box used to keep food or drink cool. It's called a chili bin in New Zealand, and apparently in the UK it's called a cool box, in the US a cooler, and in Australia an esky. Did you watch the inauguration? What time was it on? Was it on Japanese TV?
Yeah, I watched it live. About two o'clock in the morning, Japan time. It was around noon in Washington where it was held. I don't know. I watched it online. I didn't think I'd be able to actually. First I tried CNN and there was a message, this service is not available in your area. And then I tried MSNBC and it was great. Perfect picture, no delays. It was just like I was in the States watching TV. A or B? A. Dust bag. B. Rubbish bag. B. A. Tooth polish. B. Toothpaste. B. Sugar. A. Canned peaches. A. A. Sanitary products. B. Sanitary substance. A. And that was the Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.